Okay, so here's what I did in order to comply with the government. I just, you know, you could take cloth, old dresses or anything, and you can just, like, make your own little makeshift mask. I like it better. It's more stylish. You, um, you could even go out and buy, like, little cheap dresses or blouses or whatever. And just make your own if we need to continue to do this, you know, like, during the summer. So, you know, you could still feel pretty or whatever because those masks just, you know, everybody's looking so ugly with the mask on and everything. Um, so that's, you know, just a little idea. I think this is fashionable, you know, and you don't have to pay $300 for it or whatever. So, um, something I want to talk about, I just came in from, um, a store in my community and I saw these people with boxes that I know they don't live in our community, but they were here racking up. And here's what I want to say about that. Something needs to be done to stop that because you have a lot of people who are panic buying panic buying that's what they call it and what they're doing is when their communities are running out of things it seems as if they're going around traveling to other people's communities and stockpiling and that is very bad and very dangerous um the community that i live in nobody is wealthy here so we are um actually complying because there's bleach there's things that we need that you know you can go out and get so it seems like everybody is kind of like pacing themselves and buying what they need and not over buying because you never know you might have to leave what if they say you have to leave or something happens and you need to have some type of cash on hand so you shouldn't be out there spending up all your money anyways but for those people if I see any people the next time I always make the mistake of leaving a camera behind but I'm gonna make sure that I'm prepared so that every time I have to go out for a run or somebody goes out for a run if we see any of these people doing this be on alert that you will be recorded and we are going to turn you over because you have no right to go into other people's communities and start stockpiling. Okay? So you want to be safe. Yes, you need things, but the government has already told you to stop doing that. Another thing. Stop listening to these conspiracy theories as it relates to the coronavirus. Listen to the updates from your mayor and your president. Every time they have a conference... Those are the people you should be listening to. If you're on my channel, those are the people you want to listen to. Don't worry about anybody martial lawing you. Don't worry about um, somebody making you a prisoner at home or anything. Like, don't worry about that. Listen to your governor. Listen to your um, president. Okay? And do not stay calm. Stay calm and social distance yourself. I had to social distance myself in a supermarket yesterday. I was so upset. The lady was just, you know... Like inching closer and closer. So I'm like, wait a minute. So what I did was I pulled the shopping cart and I kept that in between us. So if you go out and you're grocery shopping and a lot of people in the supermarket, for some reason, they don't understand social distancing. So keep your shopping cart so you can have something to, you know, give you some space between you and the next person so that they're not, you know, breathing all on you or whatever, because that's what it is. We don't need to be breathing on each other. So I'm Ray Ray, guys. I like to bring awareness through conversation. I hope you enjoyed my stylish mask, which I have to wash. You know, you have to wash these too. Don't just think you could tie it on. You know, you take it off and you will wash it right away. And, you know, make a lot. Make it make it fun. You know, you got to have something to keep you a little happy. So I like to bring awareness through conversation and hopes that it sparks change. And I'm out. Don't come over in our community buying up our stuff anymore. I, got, I saw you. And I'm going to record you the next time.